So welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am back with another challenging question. So as we can see in the figure, we have a circle and inside it we have a triangle ABC. AB and BC are equal in length that is 10 units while AC is 12 units. So in short, this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle because this side AB is equal to BC. Now we have to find the area of this circle. We have the formula that area of any circle is equal to pi times the square of the radius. So our aim should be to find the value of R. For that we will do one modification. From point B let us draw a line segment perpendicular to AC. Let us name this point as M. So this will be the perpendicular bisector. That means AM will be equal to CM. So this will be 6 unit and this will be 6 unit. Now you might be wondering that why this is perpendicular and bisector also. So we have a theorem. So the theorem says that if we have an isosceles triangle and from one vertex if we drop a perpendicular a line segment perpendicular to the third side then it will be perpendicular as well as it will be median. It will be dividing this third side into two equal halves. So this is a theorem. So because triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle so from vertex B if we drop a line segment perpendicular to AC then it will be median also. Now another question arises that this point O that is the center of the circle why it is lying on this line segment BM that we just constructed. So for that there is another theorem that if we have a circle and this is any chord. So if we have any I mean line segment that is perpendicular to it and bisecting it then it must be the diameter that means it must pass through the center of the circle. So you see this line segment BM it is perpendicular to chord AC and it is dividing this chord into two equal parts. So if we produce this BM then let us name it as N. So BN will be the diameter hence it will pass through this center of the circle that is point O. Moving ahead let me erase these two figures from here. Let me clean this diagram. Now let us focus on this triangle BMC. So let me draw it here. This point is M, this point is B and this is C. BC is given as 10 units, CM is 6 unit and MB is unknown. So using Pythagorean theorem we can find the value of BM. So we will get 10 squared is equal to BM squared plus 6 squared. So BM squared will be equal to 100 minus 36 that is 64. So BM will be square root of 64 that is 8. So this entire length is 8 units. Let me clean this triangle. Now let us do another modification that from point O let us join this point C. Here OC will be the radius of this circle. CM is 6 units and OM will be 8 minus this distance R. So OM will be 8 minus R. Now let us focus in this triangle OMC. Let me draw it outside. This is 90 degree point M, O and this point is C. This length is R, this is 8 minus R and this is 6. We will apply Pythagorean theorem in this triangle also. So R squared will be 6 squared plus 8 minus R whole squared. Let me erase this. So this will be R squared equals 36 plus. We will expand this. So this will be 8 squared that is 64 plus R square minus 16 R. So we will subtract R square from both sides. So this vanishes. 
and we will be left with 0 equals 64 and 36 will sum and it will be 100 minus 16R. So 16R equals 100. This implies R equals 100 upon 16. We can further simplify this. Let us divide numerator and denominator by 4. So this will become 25 upon 4 which will be 6.25. Now we have found the radius of uh, this circle. We can simply substitute it here and get the value of area of the circle. So area of the circle will be pi that is 3.14 times the radius that is 6.25 squared. If we multiply this we will get 122.6 square units. So the area of this circle is 122.6 square units. If you like this video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe my channel.